Let's do this. Prepare for battle. enemy. Got it all mapped out. setting up. It'll take a little more time. I'm still setting up. It'll take a little more time. Where are you like a <laughs> This will be the trick. Susceptible to poison in this situation. You can take advantage of that. Flashing won't work. Don't bother with swords. What's next? Some fun. Persona.
Let's do this. Another I'll be able to the scan the enemy soon. The strong one. Be on your guard. Let's go! 
them where it hurt. I'll show you! Senpai, your defense is down! Hurry, 
You're not tired? Then let's be off. There's a shadow. There's no room for carelessness. Stay alert. The tallest building in the world is 160-something floors, I think. And we're even higher up. I still think... We caught them by surprise! They won't know we hit them! Huh? Nice one, later. Leave it to me! It's all you. I'm on it! Get him! Almost there. Good work, Akihiko. We cannot pass this up. Certainly went well. Shadow up ahead. You taking it out? I 
Tired? Then let's be off. Shadow up ahead. Taking it out. The enemy's easily charmed. Do you have a skill for it? Keep it up, everyone. That's a win for the team. Good job, everyone. about me. Let's go. Um, it looks a little harder. We three targets about the pride. They won't know we hit them. Excellent leadership. Keep up the good work. Enemy spot. Let's. It's our chance to go first. Two on. You can take them. Last one. Enemy defeated. You're doing great, Yukari Khan. No luck. The Nada Senpai is knocked down. Are you okay? Yeah. 
was excellent leader. Best to stay on your toes here. Shadow spotted. What's the plan? It'd be easy to lose sight of a golden shadow here. Yeah, seriously. It's all glitter and shine here. Let us know if you Certainly went well. Hope we don't run into any. It's not all about building muscle. The end goal is to become stronger. There's a shadow. Now's our chance. One, two. Good work. Go. Down. Down. Now an awesome hung up an enemy down. Good work. 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 Doesn't look like we'll be needing a 10 count. Doing pretty well. A shadow. What will you do? No shadows detected. 
Protected. Sanada-senpai is out of stamina. Damn it. I think I went overboard. Teamwork, everyone. Do you believe in fortune telling? Is it even accurate? I do find it. Shadow. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Register. Will you register it to the compendium? All registered. Now. Which will you choose? This persona is powerful. Please choose what skills to inherit.
It appears it will receive a larger... Well, well, well. You'll be summoning this one very well. It's yours. Very well. We look... the results of course how splendid wonderful wonderful fulfilled the requirements very well then very well good day I shall be waiting then very well good day here are my requests Very well, then.
Which one? What would you like? You gotta tell me. What would you like? Are you sure? Here, it's all yours. Everything good? Come again. my request. Let's hear the results. Do you see anything achievable? Take that. I never feel like da -da 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 -da. I never feel like da -da -da -da. You're handing that over. Alright. How many are you selling? Sure. Alright. How many? You're in sure. It's a how many? You're in sure. How many? Sure. Sure. How many? Sure. Alright. How many? Sure. Alright. How many? You're handing that. Alright. How many? You're handing sure. It's a deal. You're handing sure. How many? You're handing. Alright. How many? You're handing sure. It's a deal. I'm at your handing that over. Sure. I'm at sure. All right. I'm at your handing. Sure. It's a deal. 
How many? Sure. All right. I'll take that. How many? Sure now. Sure. It's a deal. I'm sure now. Sure. It's a deal. I'm at your hand. Sure. It's a deal. Baby, still with me. What do you got? Hmm? You finished? Be seeing ya. for you. So, this is your current domicile, the student dormitory. So this is your room. I've never seen many of these items before. If I might be permitted to ask, when I made the request to visit your room, did it make you a little suspicious? In truth, there is something I wanted to tell you. During my forays into your world, I encountered a great many things. Every single one of our outings is a treasured memory. Each one a polished, glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even visiting your school for a day. And I came to a realization. I had been subconsciously requesting to visit locations that were more and more central to your life. And today, I endeavored to visit the one place in your world where I could learn the most about you. That is the reason as to why I requested to visit your room. If I may be so bold. Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? There was a moment where I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you. It was the first time I'd ever felt that way. I thought to myself, why did I feel so fulfilled? But after coming all the way here, I finally found my answer. I believe it's because I had the chance to walk in your shoes. Those of us who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for our guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason for being. When I'm together with you, I can have that all for myself. Let me put it more plainly. I'm rather naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times when I behaved quite strangely. However, even I understand the significance of inviting a gentleman into his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd love for you to guide me through it. Thank you. if I've become an entirely different person compared to when I first set foot in your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. But I understand that wouldn't be ideal for you. That is why I am drawing the line. No more visits here. I shall remain on my side. 
Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I am truly grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. I'm looking forward to it. Of course. You have my thanks. How splendid. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering. Is overriding acceptable? I've completed registration. Are you in search of new... Well then, shall we take a look? This power might be too much for you. This persona is powerful. This would be a wise choice. Please choose what skills to inherit. This would be a wise choice. This persona is powerful. Be a wise choice. Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive <laughs> a new power emerges. is powerful. This persona, yes? What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a good... So it begins. <laughs> 
This would be a wise choice. What do you wish to inherit? Please choose what skills to inherit. It seems no new power. <laughs> A new power emerges. This persona is powerful. This persona is powerful. This persona, yes? Take all the time you need to consider. Is this acceptable? Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive a... <laughs> Why, this is exciting, isn't it? So far. Please, so you'll be summoning this very well. It's yours. Are you finished? How splendid! Of what kind of persona do you desire? You can't control this one yet. This would be a wise choice. This would be a wise... What do you wish to inherit? a wise choice. This persona is powerful. This would be a wise choice. Please choose what skills to inherit. what skills to inherit.
It appears it will receive a large amount. So it begins. Persona is powerful. Is this acceptable? Is this acceptable? Is this acceptable? Well then, shall we take a look?
they call divine guidance. The detective called me this morning and said he found my wife and son. He said they're running a small restaurant. Sounds like it's pretty popular among the locals. My son's married. His wife is pregnant. Sure makes me feel old. I ain't coming back till I earn their forgiveness. I'll be out of town for a while. I decided the next time I saw your face would be the day I leave. So I'll be going tonight. I'll get down on my knees if I have to. If my son wants to sock me in the face, well, that's fine too. I, I've been thinking about proposing to my wife again. Even though I'm not so good with words, I'm gonna say, I want to recite the sutras with you by my side for the rest of my life. Well, how's that sound? <laughs> Come on, kid, you, you're embarrassing me. Might not mean much coming from a monk who couldn't relinquish thoughts of the family he lost. But I was finally able to face the fact that I was drinking to hide my true feelings. It was an enlightenment of sorts. <laughs> it's all your fault, kid. After lecturing you all those nights, you started reminding me of my son. Maybe Buddha sent you to help me. <laughs> I gotta admit, I believe in fate. If I'd not met you, I don't think I'd ever see my family again. I owe you, kid. I am thou. Thou art I. The bomb thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Tower Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon them the ultimate form of the tower within themselves. Goodbye gift. When you mix 
Mixed Contro with white rum and lemon juice. Shake it. You get a cocktail called XYZ. Movies and manga often use the initials XYZ to symbolize the end of something. But I consider XYZ to be the best of the best. It tastes so good going down. I'll be praying that your future will be XYZ. So long, kid. There's something worth looking at from here. The moon is almost perfect. It'll be full in just three more days. So it would seem. I have no intention of relinquishing my abilities and living an empty life. To continue existing as we are or to die powerless. I hear you. I know how important this is to you, Takaya. To us. We can't afford to lose it. And besides... Jin? If the Dark Hour disappears, we might forget everything that happened, won't we? I'd forget you and Chidori, the things we did together, our time at the facility. All of it. To me, that's a fate worse than death. I couldn't care less if that damned facility got erased from my memory. Having this uncontrollable power forced on us, watching everybody we knew disappear one by one. There's just one thing I refuse to forget. Back when I was trapped in that living hell, you spoke to me. Thanks to what you said, I learned how to keep myself going. Your words gave my life meaning to Kaya. If I forget that, I won't have any reason to be alive. It may not be much of a purpose compared to yours. It was just a couple of words, I know. But they meant the whole world to me. So I can't lose this fight either. Is that so? Hmm. Well then, why don't we find out together? Whom will fate elect to choose? Them or us? <laughs> right.
go. Go! I'm sure this will prove to be useful. Create what would you like? You gotta tell no So, what will it be? So, what will it be? What would you like? What would you like? Everything good? Come again. Precisely.
Let's see. Good morning. Nice one. stuff you might find useful. So feel free to browse. Everything looks good. Great. It's all yours. Everything looks good. It's all yours. Everything looks good here. Great. It's all yours. Everything looks good. Alright then. as you need. I do have some firearms in stock, but you guys don't actually use these, do you? What like what are you looking for? What like what are you looking for? Feel free to buy whatever you want. All done here? All done here? Be seeing you. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. Pleased, so you'll be summoning this very well. It's yours. Are you finished? We look...
Everybody, gather round. Now, you've probably all heard already, but Miyamoto's knee is in bad shape. If you see him having a hard time, I want you to stop him immediately. That's it for today. Let's grab a bite before we head home. Sorry I needed your shoulder again. And I was the one who suggested we go eat. Yeah, I'm sure you love lugging all this dead weight around, huh? Really? Well, I guess you haven't been complaining. I mean, I've always known you were tough. Sometimes when I go to my sister's to play with my nephew, I help him into the tub. Even though he's only five, he's still pretty heavy. It must be hard having to do that every day. If I can't walk, then I won't be able to go to school or bathe by myself. I won't even be able to go to the bathroom on my own. And I don't want to do that to my mom. This all hit me on our walk over here with you helping me the entire way. Hey, let me know if I become a burden on you, will ya? I'm not gonna hide anything from you. So I hope you feel like you don't have to either. I feel guilty for making the whole team worry. First, I have to win at the regionals no matter what. For their sake, too. be our last operation yeah we've been through so much over the last half year or so don't you think yeah I guess it flew by hey it was way better than just doing nothing right besides we made some new friends Yes, that's true. Not a single thing we've done has been for nothing. It's been two and a half years since I got this power. And it's been worth it. Sonata-san. <laughs> Don't forget, we got to meet Koro-chan too. Still... Two and a half years is a long time, Sonata-senpai. Oh, wait! It's been even longer for Aegis, hasn't it? I was in stasis for much of that time, so I haven't been operational for very long. How about you, Kirijo-senpai? You got your start before Sonata-san, right? Hmm? Me? Yes, it was just me at first. Of course, Seize wasn't around back then, and this was just a regular dorm. Did the chairman recruit you too? No, he didn't. I've been aware of the Dark Hour since I was a child. Once, my father's research team was ambushed by shadows while they were investigating Tartarus. When I witnessed the attack, I awakened to my persona. That's what happened? Apparently, I was the first ever to reliably control my persona. If that had never happened, then maybe none of you would be going through this right now. Senpai... Someone would have gotten involved eventually. It's not like we could just ignore what the shadows do to people. I suppose that's true. Tomorrow is our last operation, so make sure to rest up tonight.
You have my thanks. Oh, yeah! of the Moonlight Bridge, the twelfth and final shadow. Hmm. So this is it. And as we expected, I'm detecting more Persona users nearby. It's Strega. They know this is their last chance. We expected as much, but don't be careless. So, it's them. Saves us the trouble of looking for them. You've all fought admirably thus far. This will be our last operation. Let's all come back safely. Got it. Roger that. Of course.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah? <laughs> Hell yeah! Yes. I trust you know what is at stake today. You claim you hunt the shadows to prevent the disaster they bring. Yet... Countless lives are lost each day, even without their intervention. <sighs> the ability to use a persona is not in itself evil. You have no reason to forsake it. So, why not just admit it? You do not truly wish to eliminate the Dark Hour. You are merely deceiving yourselves in the pursuit of self-satisfaction. I don't think you truly believe that. <sighs> you are foolish children indeed. Erasing the Dark Hour is the same as erasing yourselves. How can you not even conceive such a thought? Your imprudence is truly beyond comprehension. As I believed, our goals are irreconcilable. It's time, Jin. What a bunch of fools. I can't stand to look at you. Fate shall decide which of us will remain. Come. Just don't know when to quit. Persona! Now then, it is time for your judgment. Out of my way. Should I stand on this for me? Okay, here's what I found. Let's do it! Caesar! I'm 
not going down. I'm ready. Head this away. All right, that's enough of a warm-up. It's time for the real deal. There you go. We shall show her so They can coordinate their attacks too? Try not to let them target your weaknesses. Death. I figured this would have been down. Stay sharp, everyone! Katana! I'm not going down. What's next? Help me! Thanks. One step at a time. See you! Now you've done it. Here he Shall I move to strike? Your feet. Go for it! And got the ladder! Off you go! this hard before. You guys sure are trouble. than I thought. There you go. Go for it. We shall show death to our fools. Persona. Think 
goodness. Now it's time for a counterattack. You are going to pay for that. Pull the trigger. You have more than just luck on your side, so be it. Death to all fools. I need to get out. Isn't it? others with the same power and what difficult opponents they are look at how you squander your potential it's beyond comprehension death to all of such a favorite persona user. Death to all I'll go with Succubus!
Persona has a new power. Experiments can't even stand up to a naturally awakened persona. Experiments? For us, it's not so simple. Our powers weren't awakened naturally. We can't even use them without straining our bodies. Don't you remember what your dead pal was carrying? So you were giving Shinji the suppressants? You guys don't have the slightest clue what'll happen if the Dark Hour disappears, do you? It won't matter for normal people, since they don't remember anything anyway. But without the Dark Hour, even Persona users like us will... Mm -hmm. Jin, that's enough. Now then, ordinarily we would withdraw here. But that is not an option tonight. This body, ephemeral though it may be, is worthless without my power. Therefore, I've only one choice. I shall prove my existence here and now! What are you doing? Don't be so reckless! Jin? Sorry. But... I haven't forgotten what you said to me. You win. Go on and defeat the Shadow. Maybe then you'll see what you've been fighting for this whole time. Wait a sec! Don't tell me you're gonna jump! I'd rather die than surrender to you! <laughs> Take a good look! This is how we live! They jumped! What the hell? Don't let it get to you. They chose how they wanted to go out. We're not done here yet. Our real target is waiting. Let's just focus on that for now. Leader! Everything I can to support you. Just please be careful out there. I think that's the shadow's main body floating up there. If it's that high, your attacks won't have the range to reach it. Wait, but I'm picking up similar readings from those statues down there. There's a connection with the floating target! I'm sure of it! Not even my arrows can reach that far! Target is out of range! I'm ready.
find this enemy? Analysis complete! Analysis complete! Analysis complete!
Operation is over. Or should I say, mission complete. Yes. It's finally over. Leader. I believe a celebration is in order. What will be our victory cheer? One. 
two, three. Let's eat. Let's eat? <laughs> what was that? Huh. I wonder if Vigas-san can even get hungry. So, Kirijo-senpai, you're gonna help us with the victory party tomorrow, right? You certainly don't waste any time. Well, I do suppose we've earned it. Well, in that case, how about sushi? Sushi, huh? Hm. It has been a while. Well, I've got dibs on the halibut and sea urchin. Oh, uh, then I call the fatty tuna. Uh, oh, we're divvying it up already? Um, can I get the salmon roe then? Hey, wait a minute! You can't do that! I reserve the fatty tuna, bluefin, shrimp, squid, scallops, and sea eel. Hey, that's not fair! You don't even eat! How immature. Fighting over sushi. What? Mitsuru-san, please order Tamago for me. They say you can tell a chef's skill by how he prepares eggs. A chef's skill? Geez, how old are you again? Okay, okay. I'll have the very best delivered tomorrow. You mean it? Oh, man! I'm so glad I'm still alive! Junpei, you can have the leftover dried gourd roll. What? But it was my idea in the first place! <laughs> 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 I guess it's time to say goodbye to the Dark Hour. Even though it seemed like a curse, for some reason I feel sad to see it go. Yeah. We really did it, didn't we? Yes. We've saved the world, even if no one knows it. Yeah. Good morning. This is the first time we've talked during the day. Isn't this weather lovely? This really is the start of a new day for both of us. All the fragments of my memory are finally back together. I understand my purpose now. The time has come. I know this is going to hurt, but there's something I have to tell you. This is goodbye for you and me. In my eyes, our friendship was a miracle. I want you to know that. But even miracles don't last forever. If only they did. Maybe you're right. Even if eternity does exist, how would we ever know? It'd be no different than if it didn't exist. I'll always treasure the time we had together. Today may be the end, but the bond between us can never be severed. Remember that. It was fun while it lasted. So long.
some primo sushi. The slices are huge. Man, I'm starving. Can we eat? Hey, where are Aige-san and Ikutsuki-san? He took her to the lab for a tune-up or something. He said they'll join us later. So dance, if you wanna go ahead. <laughs> the chairman just can't stay away from the lab, can he? That must be my father. We've been waiting for you. So it's finally over then. That's right. H who's he? <laughs> Can't you tell? That's Kirijo Senpai's dad. She looks exactly like him. Y you think so? Congratulations, everyone. You've done well. No words can express my gratitude. Though you'll never receive the recognition you deserve, your achievement was truly monumental. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> to you, I owe a special thanks for lending us your power until the very end. Oh, it was no big deal. Thanks to you. The 12 shadows behind all this chaos have been destroyed. You've carried this burden long enough. You deserve a chance to experience the joys of youth. As of midnight tonight, the specialized extracurricular execution squad will be disbanded. Disbanded? Oh, right. No longer must you risk your lives in battle. Tomorrow, you can triumphantly return to a normal school life. Is something the matter? Nah, it's nothing. All right, everyone. It's time to celebrate. Your feast awaits. And don't worry about holding back. Eat as much as you'd like. Listen up, everyone. Now that we're good and stuffed, how about we take a picture together? A picture? Actually, I did try to take one last night. Except I forgot it doesn't work during the dark hour. You mean you brought a camera with you to the battle? Well, yeah. I mean, it was our last battle and all. Excuse me, mister. You mind taking our picture? Ugh, I feel like such a tourist. But, you know, I do kind of want a picture, too. Oh, wait. Akutsuki-san and Aigis aren't here. I guess we'll have to take another one later. All right, everyone, get together. Come on, squeeze in tight. Everyone, get real close to me. You want me close, too? Uh, no, not you. Jeez, don't make the poor camera guy wait all day. Hey, we're good to go. You can take the picture whenever. How's this for a pose? Hey, get your hand out of my face! Is it just me, or did this not get my good side? We'll just take another one when I guess and Akutsuki san get back, alright? really get used to this worry-free lifestyle. How about you, Koro-chan? Are you excited for all this meat? Hey, how come nobody's eating? 
Don't tell me you're full already. Are you kidding? I'm stopped. Yeah, me too. I could need another bite. How about you, Senpai? I'm good for now. Nah, suit yourself. For Maru, you hungry? Don't give the dog raw fish, you'll make him sick. I guess an akutsuki san sure are running late. And just look at the time. It's almost midnight. The hell? Those guys in the suits transmogrified. Dark hour still happening? Senpai, what's going on? I'm not sure. Guess I was right to have my doubts. Yeah, something didn't feel right. <sighs> Say what? Hey, do you hear that? It sounds like a bell, but where's it coming from? Where's Ikutsuki? And he hasn't even called. What could he be doing with Aegis that's making him so late? <sighs> Mitsuru? Everyone, prepare to move out. We're heading for Tartarus. Um, to do what? I don't know, but that's where the sound is coming from. We have to find out what's going on. Ikutsuki-san. I guess? What are you doing here? <sighs> She's simply here to fulfill her role. As a weapon, that is. What? Ikutsuki-san! What are you trying to pull? You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we've been fighting this whole time. So why? What are you trying to accomplish? Destroying the shadows, getting rid of the Dark Hour. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You've known since the beginning. Excellent deduction, Hirijo-kun. Unfortunately, you're too little too late. No. You tricked us? It's all going just as I planned. It's no accident that the Dark Hour and Tartarus continue to exist. I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And thanks to your diligence, that destiny has been fulfilled. Death. The Almighty shall soon arise and bring forth the fall. Death? What are you saying? Why would you want that? The end shall come and free this world from despair. It will be the death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? You see, I too was a scientist on the project ten years ago. The experiment did go awry, but that wasn't the reason the Dark Hour and Tartarus came to be. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That's why your grandfather gathered so many shadows. To initiate the fall. That can't be. 
Humanity has overrun this world, turning it into a barren void in the process. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by a prince. And once he has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The attempt years ago failed, but the time has come at last. I am that prince. This is insane. Are you serious with this shit? I do apologize for deceiving you, but all your hard work has paved the way for the future. Stay at my side for just a bit longer, and you too will find salvation. Find it how? By dying? I have a question for you. And what's that? In that video from my dad. He said the shadows had to be defeated. Was that a lie too? Ah, uh, that was in fact his recording. Of course I had to modify it to my specifications. You doctored it? Such an unsavory way to phrase it. Your father, Eiichiro Takeba, was a superb scientist. He didn't know me at the time, but I truly respected him. While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, his research led him somewhere far deeper. But unfortunately, he couldn't comprehend the magnificent potential of the Fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. So it seems. But it did come in quite handy. I'm sure he'd be happy knowing that. So you were behind it all? You used my dad! And me too! Used is such an ugly word. It had to be done for the sake of the world. Our job is to right the wrongs of the past. And we intend to do just that. Senpai, what are you... <sighs> I was hoping you'd be able to see the light. But you are just kids, after all. Maybe my expectations were too high. I guess. It's time you fulfilled your role. Capture them and prepare them for sacrifice. Understood. Energy output at maximum. I guess. What's wrong? I guess, please! Engaging. What's going on here? <sighs> what the hell? <sighs> what is this? off Father Ikutsuki, what is the meaning of this? It's exactly what it looks like. They are our sacrifices. Harbingers of the fall. All the pieces are in place. And now the prophecy shall be fulfilled. What? Bastard! You're full of shit! My, my, how lively. I guess... A 
affirmative. Father! You traitor! Are you insane? Far from it. You know, your father was an unfortunate man. After all this time, even his own son can't comprehend his vision. My father was wrong. Death as deliverance is an ideology no one should ever embrace. You fool. You've become nothing but a burden. I guess this man will be our first sacrifice. Now, deliver unto him. No, please, I guess don't. <laughs> What are you doing, I guess? I... I... Fine! I'll do it myself! Ten years. I've wasted ten long years! I am not like your father. I won't make any exceptions! Machine! I'll do it! It's all over, Chairman. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Why do you waste your time searching for a reason to live in this broken world? There's no point to it at all. The only possible way to fix this is to start over! <laughs> Yes. Yes, I was chosen. I'm going to be the god of the new world! <laughs> what a shame. I was so close. <laughs> How did it come to this? Ikutsuki san! Father! 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 My father once made a promise. He swore he would atone for putting our generation in danger even if it cost him his life. I wanted him to live. I became a Persona user so I could protect him.
actually. Surprise there. Icus isn't here either. Uh, I just can't believe all this. It's in the papers, too. Hirijo Group CEO dies suddenly. No blaming it on an illness, though. <sighs> yeah, it's never the truth. <sighs> nope. Hirijo Senpai is not here, huh? She's an only child, so there's a lot to be settled. Like the funeral and the family business. She'll probably have her hands full for at least a week. That sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. So, what are we supposed to do now? <gasps> What'll happen to Chidori? No word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. In fact, the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of panic. I hope Aikis is okay. Yeah. Man. I want to hear what they have to say, but they haven't made a peep. Am I supposed to just wait for them to get their act together? Mitsuru is meeting with the company execs. Might explain the delay. Yeah. But still, what are we going to do? We have no idea how to get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know who to fight now. He kept saying stuff about the fall. What would have happened if we were sacrificed? Hmm. So many unanswered questions. Yeah, but standing around here isn't gonna solve anything. True, but there is one thing we know. Tartarus is still around, and shadows are swarming the place. We should train so we're ready for whatever we might be up against. Right. All right, that's it for tonight. Try to get some rest, even if you can't sleep. Okay. Roger that. Chun. Hmm? What's this? A disc? Um, there were traces of a video on the chairman's PC. A lot was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. And, well, I think it's something you need to see. <sighs> Thanks, Fuka. I'll be sure to watch this later. Mm hmm Just don't forget! So it's just a normal DVD? Alright, let's see what's on here. Oh, there we go. I can only hope that this recording reaches someone with a conscience. Isn't this... that video? My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. This experiment should never have been conceived. That's why I had to do something to put a stop to it. <laughs> However, in doing so, I released a number of shadows that are certain to torment future generations. But I didn't have a choice. If I didn't do this, it could have destroyed the entire world. Please, you need to listen very carefully. Whatever you do, it is imperative that you do not hunt the shadows that have dispersed. Uh-huh. This part's... I wasn't able to do anything to stop this madness. He won't listen to a word I say. He's been seduced by the devil's temptations. Those monsters will try to reunite and become one again. If they succeed, then we're all doomed. 
I'll say it once more. Do not go after the shadows that were released! And this is the original video. The real one, before Akutsuki went and tampered with it. Dad was trying to put a stop to the experiment. There's not much hope for me now. I have just one request. Whoever finds this, please give my daughter Yukari this message. I know I promised I'd be home soon, and I'm sorry to break that promise. But I want you to know, as your father, I was never happier in my life than when I was with you. This really is my dad. I love you, Yukari. Please, take care of yourself. Dad? Dad? <laughs> I know one thing for sure now. I was right to believe in you. I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message. Fight for what I believe in. That's what you would have wanted. Right, Dad? Listen. As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed?
I do not speak of your change in circumstances. I refer to the change in your mentality. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing you mustn't forget. You do recognize it. I can see that. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I choose this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. No matter which path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, you alone must bear the responsibility for your actions. No matter what sort of end they may bring about. Please, do keep that in mind. Well then, I bid you farewell. Oh, Jory. <sighs> Sorry about not being able to visit lately. A lot's been going on. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? So, you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. I get that they were your friends, but we had to fight them. Is that not it? I was right. This fear. This pain. Junpei. In two years, what will you be doing? In two years? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Why do you ask? Oh, almost forgot to mention. I noticed you stopped. You know, hurting yourself. Oh, I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. Uh, don't touch me! But, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit. But now, it's different. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei. Don't come here anymore. Shidori. Mm-hmm. 
Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? My apologies. By all means. A report of success. Come to think of it, I will await a report of success, if I may say so. By all means. By all means. I will await a report of success. will await a report of success by all means by all means by all means very well to the Velvet Room. Regis is overriding acceptable. I've completed registration. This is your progress so far. This persona, yes? My request. Let's hear the results. Very well. Thank you. 
in my greatest effort, I will achieve the greatest outcome. One needle, one soul. This is my super day. My everything. Huh. That cheap material has been completely transformed. I could never have done this on my own. Without you, I would probably be back home already. 
And thanks to all your help, the kimono is almost finished. I feel so blessed. My own country. With my aunt gone, there is nothing there for me now. I just want to hurry and put an end to this so that I may live and die in Nihon. There's something I need to tell you. I have gotten to know many people since coming to Nihon. But you have been the most Tsubarashi person of them all. If my aunt was still alive, I would tell her about what a wonderful friend you have been to me. And now, we put the final touches on this kimono. Sure, I am so tired, I may be hallucinating a little bit. But this is the last part. I can't give up now. Ready, set, go! Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. I see you back.
I'm looking forward to... Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Oh my! Wonderful! Come to think of it... <laughs> Let's hear the results! Oh, yes! If I may say so... I will await a report of success. Very well, then. Accepting a request? Wonderful. Oh my! Very well. Good day. You have my thanks. You know what?
Okay, then. in there real quick. Welcome. What kind of flowers are you looking for today? Oh, um, they're for a girl who's in the hospital right now. Yeah, well, flowers, are they? In that case, how about these ones here? Uh, let's see. All right, uh, one of those. White flowers? Are you sure about that? Huh? What? Is, is that bad? Well, she likes the color white, so I figured... I'm sure it will be fine, as long as you have a reason. Okay, let me wrap it up for you. Yeah, on second thought, I think I'll pass. Sorry for the trouble. Sorry for the pointless detour. It's just... Look, I don't really get it myself. Hey, wanna go sit somewhere for a bit? I don't feel like standing around and talking. So, the girl I'm visiting... I think I made her upset. I want to tell her I'm sorry, but I don't even know what I did wrong. She told me not to come around anymore. So what am I supposed to do? That's 
what you'd do if you were in my shoes? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you would be able to pull it off that way, but... It feels like I'm trapped in some kind of loop, you know? No matter how motivated I get it, it's getting me nowhere. Been that way since I played baseball. Those hero moments, or if I could just hit the ball, man, I get so amped. Except I never once got to be the hero. Never it was clutch time. I always struck out. And I guess nothing's different now. Thanks. Whew. Feels like I got a huge weight off my shoulders. Didn't think the day would come when I'd be talking to you about my problems, man. But I guess it's not really a secret that I got problems. Huh? I kinda hate to admit it, but the answer you give is probably the right one. Ugh, crap, I'm losing my edge. I need something to get back in the groove. Let's get Katsudon to Wakatsu to wake us up. Oh, wait, do they even have Katsudon there? You walked your dog around this time. I'm just out for a light run. Felt like I needed a little more after club practice. Ugh, it's kind of chilly just standing around. Wanna do some stair laps over there? Oh, welcome back. You've got some pretty good form there. I should get back to my run. I'll see you later. Kid, bang, bubba. Could it be? Well, yeah.
time looking around. Welcome to the Velvet Room. This is your progress so far. This person, so you'll be summoning this one? May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look... Say, how do you feel about a pink alligator? I thought so too. I knew you'd understand. See, it's the main character of a story that I'm writing. He was born in a lush, green forest, but he turned out to be pink. He stands out so much that he can't hunt for food easily, so he's always hungry. The other animals dislike him and call him disgusting, almost like he's cursed. So he was used to living alone. But one day he made a friend. It was a little bird that had trouble flying. Every day the bird would stand on the pink alligator's back and practice. It's kind of embarrassing to tell you this, so what do you think? I've never written a story before, so I'm worried it's not going to be very good. But what matters is that I'm writing it for myself. Perhaps I can show you the entire novel someday. I actually came up with it the other day. I decided I wanted to write a heartwarming story just for myself. I'd like it to be a hopeful tale about finding the meaning in one's life. I think of you when I write. It's like I can hear you telling me not to die just yet. The wind is going to pick up soon. I can feel these kinds of things now. I hope I have enough time. We should leave. I'd like to see you again sometime.
you have these flowers? Ooh, uh, uh. What the heck, dude? What's your deal? Or is this like a crush thing? Because this is too much love to handle. Yeah, I know. That's why you always have my back. Damn it. You really backed me into a corner here. You can't just not go now after all this. But... Well, thanks. Guess I should take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Maybe I should come bursting in with a whole bouquet. You're walking your dog. So his name's Koromaru Kun. Wait, it's written with the kanji for tiger and wolf? What a bad app. <laughs> Welcome back, little buddy. Oh, you can run around all by yourself, huh? Oh, aren't you a clever boy? Oh, man. I actually need to get going. I'll see. yet another transfer student. Is this really our third one? <laughs> Guess that makes it a hat trick. Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, not so loud. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work. And that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi, that seat's taken. 
you don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh-huh. Hey there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? <sighs> I guess, what's the matter? <laughs> uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? Pay close attention, all right? Here, Mochizuki kun. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? Oh, Mochizuki kun? Sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see. Right, could you come along too? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? I think the boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekoda. I mean, d Mr. Ekoda has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected. But the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though... You are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I notice you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Great! 
Here goes. If I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet. So I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? Likewise. Mm, thanks. Somehow, it already feels like we've known each other for a long time. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right! I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with.
Morning. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Please take a look. Please, is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. You'll be summoning this very well. It's yours. Very well. We look...
Thank you. Hey, can we step out for a bit? I want you to come to the station with me. I'll tell you more there. Sorry to make you come all the way here. I, um, suddenly have no idea what to do with my life anymore. Do I want to be a doctor, or do I want to be an artist? I've decided to do a little soul searching, and I won't go back home or to school until I figure it out. I haven't figured out exactly where I'll go, but it has to be somewhere away from home. I've got plenty of money. I may have taken my dad's credit card from his wallet. I'm glad we had a chance to talk before I left. Tell the others I said goodbye. Don't say that. You're gonna make this harder for me. Promise me you'll take care of yourself. Ma'am, are you all right? That cough. She's having trouble breathing and she's running a fever. This is bad. I may be jumping to conclusions here, but sorry about this. I knew it. She's a smoker. This is really bad. I think she suffers from chronic bronchitis. So if she caught a cold, it may have exacerbated the symptoms. Call an ambulance. Hurry! We'll leave the rest to the paramedics. Well, I better get going. My chest! Sir, are you okay? My train's about to leave. What should I do? All right, then I'll... I'll go ask the station attendant to call an ambulance. You stay here and perform first aid on him. someone wait I think he's going into cardiac arrest um let's sit him in an upright position oh, no he's breathing and signs of cyanosis I, I have to do something I have to or this man will die I need your help lay him down on his back gently now if I perform CPR while giving him a cardiac massage At least I helped him as much as I could. Thank you. I don't think I would have had the confidence on my own. I'm really glad you were here with me. We both saved their lives. <sighs> I think I'll go back home. I finally know what I really want. That said, I'm not looking forward to apologizing to my dad. All right then, I'll see you at school.
very much. Yeah. So then, I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called Kesara Sara. It's down this way. I was thinking of getting Mitsuru-san a gift, and I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Maybe it's too dangerous, but supposedly it's only open at night. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy is waiting for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm totally okay. I don't want you to go out of your way for that. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. And for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. Yes, I've seen Mitsuru-san drinking tea in the lounge. So when I was thinking of a gift that would make her happy, this is what came to mind. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it though. He looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about. So, I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. Oh, no. It's just, she's always looking after me, so I thought I'd show my appreciation. When I think about what it was like for me, I feel like this is the least I can do. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. Nah, it's nothing. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself, but... How exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start, but I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day, and I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> Oh, I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. I will. I've done enough thinking. Now, I just want to try doing all kinds of new things. I think I have an idea of how to live my life again. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue. 
we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. Yeah, I can't explain it very well, but I feel like you can see the real me. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? Listen. Everyone, listen up. As of today, I am quitting the club. I'd like a new club leader to be chosen from the second years. Oh, why? Where's this coming from? I have to study for my entrance exams. Wait, so then... I'm going to med school, getting my license, and becoming a doctor. Did your dad say you had to quit because you have to take over the hospital? My dad has nothing to do with this. I made this decision for myself. I'm going to have to turn down the opportunity to study abroad. And since I'm so behind on my studies, I'll have to pull a lot of all-nighters to catch up. I really enjoyed leading the club. So thank you all for everything. There's something different about you, Keisuke Senpai. You seem way more confident. Hey, you're giving me too much credit. Hey, can we talk upstairs? After today, we won't be able to chat like this anymore. Which is why I wanted to give this to you now. This arrived yesterday. It turns out I earned an honorable mention. But the top prizes ended up going to a couple other artists. It made me realize I still have a lot to learn. Like mastering the basics for starters. Studying for the med school entrance exams is going to be hard. 
and this would only distract me. That's why I want you to have it. Thanks. Funny how it seems like I'm always asking you for favors, even though I'm older than you. Remember how we helped those people at the station? They all have important people in their lives. Just like how you're an important person in my life. If they had died, they never would have gotten to be with those people again. So that's why I'm becoming a doctor. Uh, I'm not coming off as arrogant, am I? <laughs> See? I can be the reliable one sometimes too, you know? I did used to be the club leader after all. It feels like I went in a huge circle and ended up right back where I started. And I know it might look like it, but I'm not doing this because my dad's a doctor. I'm doing this because I want to be a doctor. And if you ever need an emergency operation, I'll oversee the surgery myself. I mean, if I keep you alive, we get to spend more time together. is everything. It's best if you never even have to see a doctor. Do you get the proper nutrients living in the dorm? Let's pick up something healthy for you to eat on the way home. says that ass better not crack under pressure usually people's asses are already cracked yours is as well right good that is a relief if that is the case then this must be referring to a different ass this is the only section that I am unclear on, but I suspect that if I continue reading, I will encounter even more confusing phrases. If you don't mind, could I ask you to read with me until the end? Thank you very much. With your help, I've been able to update my records with new information. Apparently, this book has a sequel. If it is possible, I would like to read with you again sometime. It's gotten rather late. We should.
should head back to our rooms. Or should I say, our turfs. And that's why... Yes, that's right. So the answer was pretty obvious. Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Messing with us. Give me your phone. I'm going to delete all the contact info you have. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. Sorry, I didn't mean to make trouble for you. <laughs> Is that what you call it? That wasn't really my intention. Right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. What a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. I hmm. wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder
wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Wow, that must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in the city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei Kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. morning.
It's not so good. Can't put too much weight on it. Okay, then let's take an early break. You mind giving Kaz's leg a quick massage? No problem. Let's see that leg. Sorry. You're missing practice because of me. Hey, don't be like that. This is for your nephew, right? Still, I'm really sorry. a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, actually, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anyone from the team hearing. Plus, it might take a while, so... Let's go somewhere. Anywhere. Where do I even start? It's all a mess in my head. First things first. This is for you. My nephew gave it to me. He said it's a good luck charm. He gave me more than I'll ever need. And if you get hurt during practice, now you can tape yourself up. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. I don't think there's enough time for me to recover by then, but that's okay. I don't mean to pout or anything. I'm just trying to stop making selfish choices. I don't think it's right for the whole team to suffer because of my knee and my nephew. Even if I manage to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. Up until now, all I could think about was winning. But my eyes opened up after Coach grilled you about my knee. It was such an obvious thing. I realized I can't keep thinking only about myself. Winning still means a lot to me. That's part of who I am, and that's probably not going to change. But for now, I'm not going to worry about winning races. I'm going to focus on winning back my health instead. You think so? In a good way, right? Like... I'm more mature. Anyway, I can't just keep asking for your help all the time. That said, thanks for everything you've done for me so far. Between practice and rehab, I'll have a lot going on. But I'm gonna kick butt both of them. And someday, I'll kick your butt too.
I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the chariot arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the chariot within themselves. I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. I wonder which one of us will recover first. He's a tough one, you know, just like me. homemade meal always makes it taste extra good. Well, shall we... you. Hey, Takeba. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? 
You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I lost my dad, too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. She is. I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get canceled. Ugh, Odagiri Kuhn. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Takeba, thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! By the way, 